Hello, my name is Lukas and in this short video I'd like to talk about setting up OBS Studio for the best results uh, for showing off a web application or desktop application, doesn't really matter. You know, these are optimized settings, uh, so the picture is sharp and so and frame rate is a little bit lower to actually uh, compensate that. So if you start OBS for the first time, there will be a wizard. You just click on next, okay, don't worry about the uh, detection. Uh, and then go to file settings. And in the output tab, make sure that the video frame rate is uh, around uh, 2050 kilobit per second. Encoder is the, um, I only have software uh, 264 and audio bitrate is 160. That's, that's the defaults, these are defaults. Now in the recording below, Set your output path and then recording quality should be same as stream. Recording format is the default MKV. Uh, this makes sure that the video is uh, recorded at constant bitrate, which is good uh, because first it can be easily edited. Uh, CBR videos are uh, easier to work with in the editing video editing software. And then also if you um, upload this to uh, YouTube, uh, Although the video size will be a little bit bigger, uh, YouTube will re-encode re the output anyway, so it doesn't really matter. In the video tab, what I think is the best uh, choice is to record and output the video in 720p. Because, you know, all, all, although this is not the you know, ideal resolution for uh, desktops, or web applications or browsers, this video itself has been recorded with all the settings I'm showing you. Uh, it's good because YouTube actually, you know, prefers TV, you know, ratio, which is 16 by 9, and 720p is actually um, a good compromise in regard to quality and size, because the text is still nicely readable. However, it's not 1080p, it's not that big. And actually 10, 1080p's may be a little bit too much for, you know, screencasts. So here on this page, you need to set a 720p for both a base and output resolution, and then make sure that the FPS is set to 10. You know, usually this is 60 or 30 uh, frames per second. However, for screencasts, it's wasting of, you know, bandwidth, because, you know, if you set it to 10, it will actually, if I move, you can see it is a little bit steering, you know, it's not that smooth. However, uh, you know, you're saving, you know, two thirds of a bandwidth to actually, so video encoder can actually use that for, for uh, picture quality rather than, you know, amount of, of frames. So um, this is, I think, good compromise. And the output is still, you know, acceptable, you know, scrolling is acceptable. However, the image is sharp enough. Now, if you want to record a browser, um, which is, you know, this video as well, I, I suggest to install Windows resizing extension for your browser. You know, Chrome and Firefox, you know, as, as many of plenty of them. I, for this video, I have a Chrome and this is, um, you know, one of the video and the link is in the document. However, 720p is not here. This is usually for, you know, web developers. So you will find iPhones, iPads, laptops, desktop resolutions, 1080p. However, 720p is not there. So you need to, you know, add it in the settings. Uh, some extensions, for, for example, this one also supports either for both window and view port uh, uh, resizing. So you resize window, this, this is the case, uh, then you know, you can fit the whole window, including the tabs and, and you know, scroll bars and everything menu within the borders of the video, within the frame of the video. And if you set the uh, viewport, only the web content, the web page itself, the, the pane will be uh, um, visible. So choose what you prefer. And then in the OBS, you add a new source, depending on if you're using uh, Wayland or X-Org uh, on Linux, mm, you select the window and then uh, you just need to match the window with, uh, with the frame of the, of the output, uh, video output. 
you can use Control F to actually match the content. It will look like this on the on, on screen. So you'll see, you know, the content of the video in the OBS. Now note there is a audio uh, monitor. That's the green, yellow, red thing uh, at the bottom of the screen. So you know it is worth setting up the volumes correctly. So usually what you want to do is set your microphone volume in a way that uh, the peaks of the uh, of the signal are in the yellow section. Uh, that's minus twenty b to minus ten b. And never ever you know set volume high enough so height so it, it goes into red because this will cause audio clipping, which is a, uh, an unwanted uh, audio um, thing. If your microphone don't have a hardware control or knob, you just use the volume in OBS itself. There is a volume slider beneath uh, uh, in, the, in the audio mixer. If your microphone, however, do have volume or gain knob, then set the, in the OBS studio, set it to maximum, also in the operating system uh, mixer, if you have one, set it to maximum. And then on the microphone itself, uh, this is usually called gain or volume or input. Set it in a way that uh, when you're talking, uh, the maximum uh, you know peak you know the, of the of the signal is in the yellow section, but never it goes into the red section. And that, that's all that's all you need to do and then you can hit start recording and record your video and it will look uh, exactly like your what, what you're watching now there are two optional things you can do uh, first is uh, you can uh, add a new filter in the audio mixer there is a, a gear wheel if you click on the gear there will be a sub menu with filters and you know this screen will appear and then you can click on the plus button and add noise gate. Now, noise gate is really powerful uh, filter. You know, every microphone uh, has buzz, recording buzz when there is no, uh, no talking. And the buzz, you know, for my microphone and my settings at the moment is minus 45 dB. And it's, it's uh, something you can easily get rid of. Noise gate actually is, is doing that. If, if there's no talking, actually it will automatically lower the you know or cut the cut the bus of the signal of the output so if i'm if i won't talk for three seconds you will see that the, there will be no buzz all right uh, usually the default uh, you can leave the default uh, values here minus 32 minus 26 that's 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 that should work if your microphone is has too much buzz you can either lower the gain or lower the volume a bit or you can increase the threshold in, in this of this um, filter. And another filter is also uh, nice, and that's limiter. Limiter is actually a dynamics filter or filter of dynamic of, of signal. Uh, it basically compresses, it's, it's, it lowers the volume uh, in some cases, and then a limiter works in a way that when there is a too much loud sound coming into the microphone, it would actually lower the volume for a very short period of time just just about for the for the amount when, when the noise is high so it you know it fits into into the output so there is no audio clipping so for example if i do this with my fingers and uh, you'll note on the on the uh, audio mixer um, that it goes just about into the uh, red section but it doesn't go into zero where it would start clipping so Limiter is also very nice. You can leave the default values as, as well. Minus six dB is just just about right for you know uh, for uh, speaking. That's about it. That's uh, that's uh, all you need to do in to record um, presentation of web application or desktop application in OBS uh, in Linux. This will also work on Windows. And uh, yeah, thanks for listening.